In the intricate world of international crime, the Kinahan Cartel stands as a formidable player, notorious for its reach and influence. Justice Minister Helen McEntee is spearheading Ireland's efforts to bring key members of this criminal organization to justice with a significant step forward, opening extradition negotiations with the United Arab Emirates, UAE. The Kinahan Cartel's notoriety transcends borders, creating a complex web of criminal enterprises that span the globe. Their influence is deeply embedded in a spectrum of illicit activities, posing multifaceted challenges for law enforcement agencies worldwide. At the core of the Kinahan Cartel's global impact is its extensive involvement in drug trafficking networks. The cartel has strategically positioned itself as a key player in the international drug trade, orchestrating the movement of narcotics across continents. This illicit operation has contributed significantly to the proliferation of narcotics in various regions, fueling addiction and destabilizing communities. The sophistication of the Kinahan cartel extends to intricate money laundering schemes that permeate the global financial system. Through a network of front companies and complex financial transactions, they have successfully obscured the illicit origins of their wealth. This financial obfuscation not only funds their criminal activities, but also poses a significant challenge for financial institutions and authorities attempting to trace and disrupt these operations. Beyond drug trafficking and money laundering, the Kinahan cartel has established connections with other transnational criminal networks. Collaborations with criminal organizations involved in human trafficking, cybercrime, and arms smuggling further amplify the challenges faced by global law enforcement. The interconnected nature of these activities creates a complex tapestry that demands a coordinated international response. The Kinahan cartel's global impact is exacerbated by its adept exploitation of legal and technological gaps. Operating in jurisdictions with varying legal frameworks and leveraging technological advancements to communicate and coordinate criminal activities, the cartel has managed to stay one step ahead of traditional law enforcement methods. As authorities grapple with the far-reaching consequences of the Kinahan cartel's global endeavors, the unraveling of their criminal legacy becomes a paramount objective. The need for international collaboration, information sharing, and innovative approaches to counter these multifaceted criminal enterprises has never been more urgent. In the pursuit of justice, the international community must not only address the immediate threats posed by drug trafficking and money laundering, but also work collectively to fortify legal frameworks, enhance technological capabilities, and dismantle the intricate networks that sustain the Kinahan Cartel's global impact. The challenges are immense, but the commitment to safeguarding communities and upholding the rule of law remains unwavering. Justice Minister Helen McEntee stands as a formidable figure in Ireland's relentless pursuit of justice against the far-reaching influence of the Kinahan Cartel. With resolute determination, she spearheads initiatives aimed at dismantling the criminal network's operations on an international scale. McEntee's strategic push for justice involves seeking cabinet approval to commence formal extradition negotiations with the United Arab Emirates, UAE. This crucial step reflects Ireland's commitment to holding accountable not only the foot soldiers, but also the masterminds orchestrating criminal activities from the perceived safety of Dubai. Brothers Daniel Kinahan and Christy Kinahan Jr., along with other high-ranking members, find themselves in the crosshairs of justice. The Kinahan Cartel's strategic base in Dubai presents a unique challenge for Irish authorities. McEntee's efforts to bring these criminals to trial involve navigating the complexities of international law. The extradition negotiations are expected to be a diplomatic and legal challenge, requiring adept maneuvering to align with the intricacies of legal frameworks between Ireland and the UAE. McEntee's pursuit of justice unfolds against a backdrop of political turbulence. A looming dial vote on her future, coupled with Sinn Féin's motion of no confidence, adds an additional layer of complexity. However, undeterred by the political climate, McEntee underscores the primacy of justice, emphasizing that the pursuit of criminals, irrespective of their global reach, is a non-negotiable commitment. The juxtaposition of political challenges and the pursuit of justice underscores McEntee's unwavering commitment to the rule of law. While political winds may shift, 
the imperative to hold those accountable for organized crime and drug trafficking remains steadfast. McEntee's tenacity serves as a testament to Ireland's dedication to confronting criminal enterprises head-on. As Justice Minister McEntee navigates the diplomatic intricacies and legal complexities inherent in extraditing Kinahan cartel members from Dubai, the pursuit of justice becomes a multifaceted endeavor. The international community watches closely as Ireland asserts its commitment to upholding the rule of law, regardless of the challenges that lie ahead. Recognizing the valuable experiences of fellow EU member states, the Irish government is strategically tapping into their collective expertise in negotiating with the UAE. In this collaborative effort, the aim is to learn from successful strategies employed by other nations, fostering a comprehensive approach to extradition negotiations. The proposed extradition treaties with the UAE are designed as a reflection of established agreements within the European Union. By modeling these treaties after existing EU frameworks, Ireland seeks to create a seamless integration of legal principles. This approach not only streamlines the negotiation process, but also enhances the compatibility of legal systems, ensuring a robust foundation for future cooperation. The ultimate goal of these extradition treaties is to facilitate seamless bilateral cooperation between Ireland and the UAE. Drawing inspiration from successful collaborations within the EU, the Irish government aims to create a structured framework that enables swift and effective coordination in matters of extradition. This ensures that criminals find no sanctuary beyond borders and are subject to the full force of the law. One of the primary objectives of modeling these treaties after EU agreements is to eliminate any potential refuge for criminals. The intent is clear. Criminals involved in transnational activities should have no safe haven where they can evade justice. This proactive stance aligns with the broader global effort to curb organized crime and uphold the principles of international law. As Ireland seeks to draw on the experiences of its EU counterparts, the efforts to establish extradition treaties with the UAE are positioned as a crucial step in the fight against transnational crime. This collaborative approach, informed by the collective wisdom of EU member states, reinforces the notion that the battle against organized crime is a global endeavor. As Justice Minister Helen McEntee strategically maneuvers through the intricacies of Irish politics, her actions underscore a resolute commitment to combat organized crime. Seeking approval for extradition talks sends a potent message that Ireland is unwavering in its determination to pursue justice, even when the perpetrators operate beyond the nation's borders. McEntee's proactive approach in seeking approval for extradition talks is not merely a bureaucratic formality. It stands as a powerful statement that Ireland refuses to be a safe haven for criminals engaged in transnational criminal activities. The pursuit of extradition talks is a tangible manifestation of the government's commitment to accountability and its refusal to allow criminals to operate with impunity. The decision to open extradition negotiations with the UAE involves delicate diplomacy and legal intricacies. McEntee's actions reflect the careful calibration required to align Irish interests with international legal frameworks. This collaborative endeavor between nations sends a resounding message that the fight against organized crime transcends borders and requires a unified global response. Helen McEntee's proactive stance in initiating extradition negotiations with the UAE marks a pivotal chapter in the ongoing saga against the Kinahan cartel. This collaborative endeavor, entailing diplomatic exchanges and legal intricacies, represents the international community's united front against organized crime. As this pursuit unfolds, it will undoubtedly leave an indelible mark on the landscape of future extradition proceedings involving global criminal networks. The evolving narrative of this pursuit is a testament to Ireland's commitment to upholding the rule of law and ensuring that those responsible for organized crime face the consequences of their actions. For continuous updates on the unfolding developments in the quest for justice against the Kinahan cartel, subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell to receive timely updates and gain valuable insights into the evolving narrative surrounding this global criminal syndicate. Together, as a global community, we remain vigilant in the pursuit of justice 
and the dismantling of transnational criminal enterprises.